I know it has to be economic, economically um, sustainable, but really, I suppose, um, like social sustainability is important too. So. Um, so I came back full time to the farm in 2016. Um, I finished school in 2009 and then I went to, to WIT for four years. So at the moment we're milking 200 cows and we would have grown that from 120 cows um, like five years ago and the plan was to increase by 20 cows a year over the five years. Um, so really our expansion is done for the moment. The, the plan now is over the next five years to consolidate the herd just to, to stick at the, the 500 cow or the 200 cows for the next five years and really just to mature the herd because it's it's a very young herd, you can see a lot of young cows there now. Um, so we just need to get our production up really over the next over the next five years um, while keeping the same same land base really. So yeah, so there's been there has been a lot of investment in the farm over the last um, five or so years. Really when I came home from Kildaughton first the main focus was on improving the, the grazing infrastructure. So once that was out of the way then the focus then changed to to the buildings, we, we kind of tried to leave that off to last, but like you do need to have the facilities there now for the number of cows, um, from a labour point of view and for animal welfare as well. So um, we would have we would have built a new cubicle shed last year, and um, which finished in January. So it was 110 cubicles in that, and then we also we changed our collecting yard as well, which is that was nearly as, just as important. We, we added a few units to the parlour. We went from 16 units to, to 20 units, but. Um, by changing the collecting yard, we really improved our, our cow flow. We put a backing gate in and a drafting system at the same time. It's, it is only the two of us on the farm, so basically there's the 200 cows. Um, I, I look after the, the cows and the grass, um, as my dad looks after the machinery and maintenance. So basically to streamline things even further, we contract reared out the, the young stock. So I joined the program really. The main reason for me was it was the whole information sharing. Like I. Like I love to, to learn things, but I also love to give the information back, so it's like a, it's a whole circle. So um, like that was the main reason for me, and I suppose as well as the, the network of people you meet through it. I'm also interested in the whole biodiversity aspect as well as sustainability, so um, and we are, you know, we are, we're always trying to, to improve things on the farm, make it more sustainable, so we'll be embracing things like the, the trail and chew and protected urea as well. If, like I'd say I definitely have a really good work-life balance, um, you know, a lot of farmers zoned, um, so I'd, I feel that's one of my main priorities. Um, I know it has to be economic, economically um, sustainable, but really, I suppose, um, like social sustainability is important too. So, um, really, like if I if I can't be finished at six o'clock in the evening, like I shouldn't I shouldn't be at this really, you know. So.